Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter four, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit more. You guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing, okay? So number two, we're gonna start, and we're gonna just start with the multiplication, and then we'll figure out where the decimal goes afterwards, okay? So six times eight is 48, carry the four. Six times nine is 54, plus four more, 58. Now. On the problem, there's one place behind the decimal, so we're gonna go in one place and put our decimal in, okay? All right, let's do number two. Five times two is 10, carry our one. Five times zero is zero, plus one is one. Five times three is 15, carry that one. And five times one is one, or sorry, is five, plus one more is six. Now on this one, there's one, two places behind the decimal, so we're gonna go in one, two places and put our decimal in. Okay, one more guys. Okay, all right. Nine times two is 18, carry your one. Nine times four is 36, plus one more is 37, carry your three. Nine times eight is 72, plus three is 75. And this one, we went in one, two places for the decimal. We're gonna go in one, two places for the decimal and the answer. Okay, pretty easy guys, okay? So I want you guys to do five through 14, because that's all that is, is the decimal, it's putting it in, multiplying and then putting the decimal where it goes, okay? And we're gonna go down to number 15, where it says a half dollar coin issued by the United States Mint measures 30.61 millimeters across. Nick has nine half dollars. He lines them up end to end in a row. What's the total length of the row of half dollars? So we're gonna put 30, 0.61, and we're going to multiply that by nine. That's he has nine of them. They're each okay, and whatever our answer is, it's going to be in millimeters, which we can just use mm. Okay, okay. So nine times one is nine. Nine times six is fifty-four. Four down. Put your five up. Nine times zero is zero. Plus five is five. Nine times three is twenty-seven. Now. Question went in one, two places. So we're gonna go in one, two places. So 275.49 millimeters, okay? Okay, one pound of grapes costs $3.49. Linda buys exactly three pounds of grapes. How much will the grapes cost? So 3.49 times grapes. And whatever our answer is going to be, it's going to be in dollars. So that dollar sign is your label on this one, okay? So three times nine is 27. Seven down, carry your two. Three times four is 12, plus two more is 14, carry your one. Three times three is nine, plus one more is 10. Now we went in one, two places. We're gonna go in one, two places. $10.47, okay? Pretty easy, guys. Okay, you guys are gonna go ahead and take care of the lesson check on the back, numbers one and two, you guys can do that, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do the spiral review. Number three says a group of five boys and eight girls goes to the fair. The admission cost is $9 per person. What expression can show the total amount the group will pay? Well, we know there are five boys and eight girls and that it's $9 Per person. That's your expression. That's it, guys. Okay? You could also write nine times five plus eight. Commutative property doesn't matter where it goes as long as you have the same sign. Okay? Okay. Sue and four friends buy a box of 362 baseball cards at a yard sale. If they share the cards equally, how many cards will each person get? Well, Sue and four friends. So that's five people. Okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this over here. Okay. All right, guys. So three, or sorry, five is not gonna go into three. We're gonna put a placeholder, okay? Five will go into 36 seven times because seven times five is 35. I'm gonna subtract, so I get one, okay? One is smaller than five, so I'm gonna bring down my two, okay? 
5 will go into 12 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract, I get 2. Now, I'm going to put a decimal and a 0. Okay, I'm going to bring that 0 down. Okay. 5 will go into 20. 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. Subtract and get 0. Now, because someone cannot get a fourth of a card or four tenths of a card, okay, we're going to say each person will get 72 cards. So 72 cards with four left over. Okay? All right. All right, guys. Number five, Sarah rides her bicycle 2.7 miles to school. She takes a different route home, which is 2.5 miles. How many miles does Sarah ride to and from school each day? Well. 2.7 and 2.5, and she does both of those, so we're just going to add them up, and whatever our answer is, is going to be in miles, okay? So first, when you're adding and subtracting decimals, the first thing you do is drop your decimal, okay? Now, 7 plus 5 is 12, 2 down, carrier 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 2 more, 5, 5.2 miles, okay? Kim has a box of 15 markers. He gives three markers to each of four friends. What expression can show the number of markers Tim has left? Well, he starts with 15. Okay. He gives away, so he subtracts from his own three markers to each of four friends. And that would tell him how many markers, which is why I put M, Tim has left. That's your expression. Okay. That's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 4.3. Come on back for 4.4. See you soon.